What's up guys? It's me Alan and I am back with another video today. This is another trade tree video. And the last one I did was pretty short. I know it's like a 14 minute long video, but the trade itself the trade tree itself was short and I got it done in a night. This one took a while. Yeah. Now, the premise of the trade tree is well, hang on, let me before I get to that, please do me a favor. Like subscribe comment down below what you think and you know share this around because this is probably gonna be one the longest video i've ever made on this channel and with these trade trees and not having you know editing stuff and whatever it's that's just how it's gonna work but anyway yeah it would really help the channel so that all being said this trade tree involves a trade where one team gave up a bunch of draft picks on draft day to get a specific player the, that the head coach really wanted and yeah there was a lot of wheeling and dealing after the after that and yeah it's convoluted but it is what it is so what is it the ricky williams trade tree when the new orleans saints give up a bunch of assets to the washington redskins to draft him or i should say to move up to draft him and then there was a bunch of wheeling and dealing afterwards, and yada yada yada, whatever. So, with all that being said, let's get on with it. So, Mike Ditka, yes, Mike Ditka, he was head coach of the Saints at the time. He had won a Super Bowl as a head coach with the Bears uh, back in 1985, and played tight end in the NFL, played for the Bears for a good portion of his career as well. He really wanted to draft Ricky Williams. The problem was that the Saints had the 12th overall pick, in the 1999 draft, and there was no way that Williams was going to fall that far, so what does he do? He orchestrates a trade with the Redskins. Let me read off what he gave up. He gave up a haul that included a 1999 first rounder, that was the 12th pick, 1999 third, 1999 fourth, 1999 fifth, 1999 seventh, 2000 first, and 2000 third round of picks. All the way to get up to the fifth pick to get Williams. Now, the amount of wheeling and dealing that happened in this tree tree is insane, and there's a lot of players involved. A lot of guys that, like, a lot of these guys, like, either did not play, or they played for a little while in the NFL, but not very long, not very substantial. So, a lot of these guys, I will mention them, but I won't actually go into detail of what they produce as players, you know, in the league. Um, that's what I was originally going to do, but in the original recording, this was getting over 20 minutes long, and I hadn't even gotten to the Ricky Williams part of the tree, so I'm redoing it, and yeah, there we go. So, with all that being said, let's get over this, shall we? So, the Bears, they only kept three picks out of this trade. The 1999 fourth, which became Nate, Nate Stimson, he did not amount to much, actually didn't play at all. And the 2001st and 3rd, which we'll get to at the end of the video. They kicked things off with all the wheeling and dealing. And traded the 1st and 3rd round picks that they got from New Orleans. Along with a 4th, 5th, and a 2003rd. To the Bears for the 7th overall pick in the draft. The 12th, round, the 12th overall pick turned into quarterback Cade McNown. Played only a couple years. The 3rd rounder turned into Dwayne McNown. Excuse me, Dwayne Bates, a wide receiver, played a couple years. The fourth turned into Warwick Holman, played for a little while, didn't do much. Um, the fifth turned into offensive tackle Jerry Wisney, only played one year. And the 2003 turned into Dustin Lyman, who only played you know a few years, didn't matter too much. The seventh overall pick, though, that became a hell of a player, a Hall of Famer, no less, Champ Bailey. He played for Washington from 1999 to 2003, 80 games, 80 starts, 18 interceptions, one touchdown return, 81 passes defended, two forced fumbles, four fumbles, five fumble recoveries, one sack, and 332 combined tackles. And in the playoffs, both games, both starts were in the 1999 playoffs, one interception, two passes defended, four combined tackles, and he was a four-time Pro Bowler with that. He would be traded in March of 2004 along with the 2004 second round pick for Clinton Portis. With the Broncos, the team that he get traded to, 
played for them from 2004 to 2013, 135 games, all but three were starts. 34 interceptions, three touchdowns, 122 passes defended, five forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, two sacks, and 599 combined tackles. In the playoffs, nine games, eight starts, one interception, two passes defended, one fumble, five combined tackles. He was an eight-time Pro Bowler with them, so that's 12 total in his career, and a three-time first-team All-Pro. <laughs> and he holds the distinction of having the longest, you know, non-scoring play in playoff history. When he returned to interception, 100 yards before getting taken down by tight end Benjamin Watson at the one-yard line. This was against the Patriots in the 2006 playoffs. He left for New Orleans in free agency in 2014, was cut in August, and then retired, and he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame last year. How about that? Clinton Portis with the Redskins played from 2004 to 2010, 84 games, 83 starts, 1,667 rushing attempts, 6,824 yards, 46 touchdowns, 240 targets, 176 receptions for 1,340 yards, 3 touchdowns, 3 playoff games, all starts, 53 rush, 146 yards, 1 touchdown, 9 targets, 7 receptions, 34 yards. He was a 2-time Pro Bowl selection, one with Denver, the other with Washington, and in Denver for 2 years, he rushed for almost 3,100 yards and had 29 TDs with two more receiving TDs on 71 receptions. Running back Tatum Bell would be selected with the 2004 second rounder. He played from 2004 to 2006 and then again in 2008 with the Broncos. Um, he did well, but not much. But he would be involved in a trade with the 2007 fifth rounder and offensive tackle George Foster to the Denver, or excuse me, to the Detroit Lions for a 2007 sixth rounder and an older cornerback, Dre Bly. Johnny Baldwin would become the the fifth rounder. He did not play for Detroit. He ended up playing for Kansas City per season, only three games, none starts, did not amount to much. George Foster played two years in Detroit, 19 games, 12 starts. He played four years in Denver. Dre Bly, two years in Denver. 32 games, 32 starts, 7 interceptions, 23 passes defended, 1 forced fumble, 1 sack, 130, 113 combined tackles. He played 4 years in St. Louis. He was on the team that won the Super Bowl in 1999 and the team that lost to the Super Bowl in 2001 to the Patriots, 1999 to beat the Titans. And he played 4 years in Detroit after that before this trade to Denver. Then, the 7th rounder, that was a quarter. Excuse me, not seventh round. The sixth rounder. I read 2007 as if it was the seventh round pick. Whatever. That turned into Rufus Alexander. He did not amount to much whatsoever. But he also never played for Denver. He was traded along with a 2007 seventh rounder and a 2008 third to Minnesota for a 2007 fourth. Wide receiver Chandler Williams would be taken in with the seventh rounder. Did not amount to much at all. Doesn't even look like he played. Marcus Thomas was a defensive tackle who Denver would get with the fourth rounder in 2007. He played for a few years for them. And a that pick was actually originally held by Denver, was involved in a three-team three trade um, between the Jets and the Falcons, and the pick would go to the Falcons. They had traded it with a 2007 second rounder for the 41st pick in the draft, um, in the same draft, uh, to Minnesota, or from Minnesota, I should say. And then Minnesota traded the pick back to Denver. So, bouncy pick. The 2008 third round pick, though, that would turn into Jamal Charles. He played for Kansas City from 2008 to 2016. 103 games, 69 starts. Nice. 1,332 rushing attempts for 7,260 yards, 43 touchdowns, 408 targets in the passing game, 285 receptions, 2,457 yards, 20 touchdowns. He was a four-time Pro Bowler and a two-time first-team All-Pro. He would be... Now, the pick that was used to get him was traded along with a 2008 first-round pick and a 2008 third and 2008 sixth to Kansas City for a 2008 sixth. And there was a goof up on the pages of these players that were involved in this trade. I will get to that in a moment. The other, but there was also a player involved in this trade that Minnesota got back in Kansas City, and that was Jared Allen. Not spelled the same as my name, but Jared Allen nonetheless. 
Charles would go to Denver in 2017 in free agency, and then Jacksonville in 2018. Injuries really hampered his career later on. It honestly sucks because Charles was a really good running back. Um, you know, you wonder what could have been. Um, anyway, moving on. Kansas City used the third round pick on Dewan Morgan. He only played two years for them, left for Indianapolis in free agency in 2010. They would use the sixth rounder on wide receiver Kevin Robinson, who was only a special teams guy for like one year. Jared Allen, however, he played for the Vikings from 2008 to 2013, and 96 games, 96 starts, four interceptions, one touchdown, 25 passes defended, 16 forced fumbles, nine fumble recoveries, one touchdown there as well, 85 and a half sacks, 329 combined tackles, and in four playoff starts, four, or excuse me, <laughs> Yeah, he was a four-time Pro Bowler, five if you count the one with Kansas City. But in the playoffs, three passes defended, three forced fumbles, four sacks, 15 combined tackles. He was also a three-time first-team All-Pro, and he had a fourth selection with Kansas City. Um, Obviously, he had a great career in Kansas City. I don't have the stats written down from those days. My apologies there, but I'm sure you can look it up. Um, He left for Chicago at free agency in 2014. Stayed with them in 2015 at first before being traded during uh, during the season to Carolina. And then he would go on to retire. And he posted that video of him literally riding a horse off in the sunset when he announced his retirement. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. The sixth round pick that the Vikings got was used on center John Sullivan. When you look at the pages of the of his page, and then you look at the players' pages that were involved in this trade, you will see on Sullivan's page that that trade he's not listed there. It's not listed in the transaction section. Why? Pro Football Reference screwed up, and this is not the only goof that I found. I'll get to another one later, but they screwed up here because the pick that's listed, you know, the 2008 pick. Well, they have the 2000. They have it confused with the 2009 pick, and actually, it's listed in the trade as a 2009 uh, pick in the sixth round. The thing is, the actual 2009 sixth round pick was involved in a trade between the Saints and the Packers. Um, it was never held by the Vikings or the Chiefs. So yeah, um, I did tweet screenshots of that to them uh, to Pro Football Reference. Hopefully, they fix that. But I digress. For John Sullivan, he played as, for a starting center. He played well from 2008 to 2014. 109 games, 93 starts. Started three out of four playoff games. He missed the entire 2015 season. Signed with Washington in 2016. And then signed with the Rams in 2017. The trade tree continues. The first round pick that the Chiefs got in this trade, they did not keep. They traded it uh, along with a 2008 third and a 2008 fifth to Detroit for a 2008 first and a 2008 third. The player would be offensive tackle Gosser Chirillis. Pretty sure I spelled his, I pronounced his name wrong. I apologize. He played for them from 2008 to 2012 with the Lions. 75 games, 71 starts, two fumble recoveries, solid offensive lineman. Signed with the Colts in free agency in 2013 and then Tampa Bay in 2015. Uh, Kenny Moore would be the 2008 fifth round pick acquired by Detroit, but he never played for them. He played for Carolina. He was a special team guy for a year. Uh, Brandon Albert would be the 2008 first round pick at 15th overall. He played for Kansas City from 2008 to 2013. 85 games, 83 starts, two fumble recoveries, and he is a two-time Pro Bowler, one with Kansas City and one with Miami, who he would sign with in free agency in 2014. And then the Chiefs would use the 2008 third on tight end Brad Cottom. Uh, played for two years, didn't do much. The 2008 third that the Lions got in this trade, though, that would be used on defensive end Kendall Langford, but they did not use the pick. They traded the pick to Miami along with the 2008 sixth for a 2008 third. Langford played for Miami from 2008 to 2011. 64 games, 54 starts, 10 passes defended, 4 forced fumbles, 7.5 sacks, 141 combined tackles. He signed with the Rams as a free agent in 2012, then at Indianapolis in 2015, signed with New Orleans in 2017, was cut during the season, signed with Houston until he was cut later in the year. He then was signed back with Miami uh, in 2018, and then was cut a couple weeks after he was signed. Jalen Parmley would be the uh, a running back, would be used uh, with the 2008 sixth rounder, but he never played for Miami. 
he uh, was drafted, got cut, and played for Baltimore for three years. Um, didn't really do much over there, and then he pinged around a little bit. And then uh, the Lions used the 2008 third that they got from Miami on running back Kevin Smith, who played for them for a few years, didn't amount to a ton. Um, still had 17 rushing touchdowns and five t TDs in the uh, you know in the passing game, so that's all right. But anyway. So we mentioned Stimson earlier, did not amount to much. We're back to the 1998 picks, by the way. Now, the fifth rounder would turn into linebacker Kari Samuel, uh, who only played two games for the for the Bears, and then uh, or two seasons for the Bears, and then a, a game in 2001 before he was cut and then signed with Detroit for the rest of the year. He was the fifth rounder that was that would end up getting traded along with the 1999 second rounder to Chicago for a 1999 second rounder. From four, uh, they moved up from 40th to 37th. The 40th overall pick would turn into defensive end Tony Bryant, who played a few years in Oakland, um, and then left for New Orleans in free agency in 2004. And then Washington, you know, yes, I did say uh, Oakland with that, um, because Chicago traded the second round at 40 overall to and a 1999 fourth round pick at 102nd overall um, to Oakland for the 48th pick in the second round, a 1998 third, and a 1998 fourth. I should have mentioned that with um, the player, but I didn't. Uh, my apologies. But anyway, um, the 1999 second rounder at 37th overall that the Redskins got would turn into offensive tackle John Jansen, who played for them from 1999 to 2008. Started 120 or started 123 out of 126 games he played, so that's not bad. Um, the fourth rounder, 102nd overall, that the Raiders got was used on wide receiver Damian Douglas, but he never played for them. He would go on to play for Philadelphia for a few years, didn't do a ton. Uh, Russell Davis, a defensive tackle, would be the 48th pick used by the Bears, uh, that was acquired from the Raiders in this trade. Um, he only played for them for a year. He went to Arizona, you know, in 2000, played for six years for them before uh, playing for Seattle in 2006, and then he won a Super Bowl with the Giants in 2007, the year they, they uh, ended the Patriots' perfect season before retiring. The third round pick, though, was used on wide receiver Marty Booker. He played for them from 1999 to 2003, and then again in 2008, 82 games, 61 starts, um... 586 targets, 329 receptions for 3,000, or excuse me, for, yeah, 3,895 yards and 25 touchdowns. He had 11 rushes for 11 yards, and he was a 2002 Pro Bowl selection. He had one uh, playoff game start, and he was traded along with a 2005 third rounder to Miami for Adewale Agunle, and then Booker's career in Miami from 2004 to 2007 um, he had, you know, he caught 11 touchdowns over 2,600 yards. He went back to Chicago in 2008, then went to the Falcons in 2009. Ogunlay played for the Dolphins from 2001 to 2003. Um, he was a 2003 Pro Bowl selection. And then after getting traded to the Bears, he played for them from 2004 to 2009. Um, he was serviceable. He made the Super Bowl with them in 2006 when they lost to the Colts. And then he left for free agency in for Houston in 2010. Do, 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 do. And then the 2005 third round pick would turn into linebacker Channing Crowder, who played for Miami from 2005 to 2010. Uh, he didn't amount to a ton, but you know he still managed to play for about five or six years, so that was good. And then the fourth round pick would turn into linebacker Roosevelt Colvin, who played for the Chicago Bears from 1999 to 2002, 56 games, 36 starts. And then he left for New England in free agency in 2003, played for them from 03 to 2008, and was on the team that won the Super Bowl in 2004. Then the 1999 sixth round pick that the Redskins acquired from the Saints. That would be traded along with the seventh rounder to Denver for a 1999 fifth round pick. The sixth rounder turned into tight end Desmond Clark, who played for Denver from 1999 to 2001. He was waived in the preseason in 2002, signed with Miami for a year. He was dealing with an arm injury at the time when he was signed, and then he went to the Bears in 2003, 
and he ended up playing for them from 2003 to 2010. Obviously, he was on the team that made the Super Bowl in 2006. Um, very serviceable tight end, caught 18 touchdowns with a bear or you know with the Bears. And then the seventh rounder turned into tight end Billy Miller, who played for two years in Denver, didn't play in 2001, uh, and then went to Houston in 22 or 2002, excuse me. And he holds the distinction of being the first player to score a touchdown in Texas history. How about that? The fifth rounder turned into offensive tackle Derek Smith. He did not mount to anything. <sighs> so that's the Redskins side of things. Now we got to get to the Saints side of things. And Ricky Williams. And we're over 20 minutes into this video. Holy shit. <laughs> um, the Saints, well, for Ricky Williams... He only played for them from 1999 to 2001, 38 games, 38 starts, 814 rushes, 3,129 yards, 16 touchdowns, and then he caught 132 passes out of 183 targets, 1,092 yards and put, uh, two touchdowns. He had one game in the playoffs. Um, and then he was traded in 2002, or March of 2002, along with a fourth round pick to Miami. For a 2002 first, a 2002 fourth, and a 2003 first. He played for Miami from 2002 to 2003. Played for them again in 2005. And then played for them again for 27, 2007 to 2010. 93 games, 45 starts, 1,509 rushing attempts. For 6,436 yards, 48 touchdowns, 623 targets, 197 receptions. 1,431 yards, excuse me, and six touchdowns, and he had a Pro Bowl, or not a Pro Bowl, he had a uh, one playoff game in his Miami tenure. He did actually make a Pro Bowl, though, and he was a 2002 first-team All-Pro. Now, he retired in 2004, but I think what happened there was he was just probably just doing some stuff, and he wanted to take some time away. He came back in 2005, missed the 06 season due to suspension, and then obviously played the rest of his career there. Um, I believe he ended up in Baltimore near the end of his career, and then he didn't make it with them, and then he retired. Um, the fourth rounder turned into tight end Randy McMichael, who played for the Dolphins from 2002 to 2006. Serviceable tight end. He played for them for a while, obviously, he then played for three years in St. Louis after signing with them in 2007. Played another three years in San Diego in 20, you know, after signing with them in 2010. Um, the 2002 first rounder would turn into defensive end Charles Grant, who played for the Saints from 2002 to 2009, and he was on the team that won the Super Bowl in 2009, uh, signed with, with Miami in 2010, <laughs> so he ended up just going back to Miami anyway, you know, obviously with the pick formerly being of the Dolphins, uh, got cut, signed with the Dolph or with the Bears in 2010, got cut again. Um, the fourth rounder turned into cornerback Q Craver, or Carver, excuse me, he played two years in New Orleans, did not, did not amount to much. Apologies for all the stuttering and stuff. The 2003 first rounder, though, they didn't keep it. And they probably wish they did. But anyway, that was traded along with a along with a 2003 first rounder. So two first round picks, back to back picks, actually, because the Saints pick was the 17th and this pick was 18th. And the third, or excuse me, a second rounder. In the same draft, all three picks were traded to Arizona for a 2003 first, 2003 second, and 2003 fourth. This allowed them to move up from 17th and 18th uh, to the sixth overall pick. The 2003 first rounder, though, the 18th overall pick, that turned into Calvin Pace, who played for the Cardinals from 2003 to 2007, uh, had a solid career there. Uh, he went to the Jets in the free agency in 2008 and spent the rest of his career there. Never made a Pro Bowl, but I feel like maybe he should have at one point in time. You never know. Um, wide receiver Bryant Johnson would be the 2013, or excuse me, 2003 first rounder at 17th overall. Uh, played for the Cardinals from 2003 to 2007. Solid wide receiver. He went to the 49ers in free agency in 2008, then Detroit in 2009, and then Houston in 2011. The, st the second round pick, though, that became Anquan Bolden. How about that? Played for the Cardinals from 2003 to 2009, 95 games, 92 starts, 945 targets, 586 receptions, 7,520 yards, 44 touchdowns, 36 rushing attempts, 209 yards, excuse me, one touchdown. 
He had three playoff games, all starts, got a touchdown in one of them. Three-time Pro Bowler, 2015 Walter Payton Man of the Year Award winner. He made the Super Bowl with, his, in, uh, with Arizona in his lone playoff appearance with the team. That was the year they lost to Pittsburgh. Then he would be traded along with a 2010 fifth rounder to Baltimore for a 2010 third and 2010 fourth. He played three years in Baltimore, won a Super Bowl with them in 2012, and then they traded him to the 49ers for a, 20, for a 2003 sixth rounder. He signed in Detroit in 2016 free agency, then with Buffalo in 2017 before he retired later in the month. The Saints, in this trade, traded up sixth pick to trade defense or to sign def to pick, excuse me, defensive tackle Jonathan Sullivan, who only played from 2003 to 2005, did not amount to much, and was traded to New England for wide receiver Bethel Johnson in 2006, who never played for New Orleans, got cut, played for Minnesota in 2006. The second rounder was used on offensive tackle John Stinchcomb. Who played from for two years first with the Saints and then play, went back to the Saints later on from 06 to 2010. Uh, he made a Pro Bowl, missed the 2005 season with a knee injury. Actually, so let me apologize. He was with the Saints the whole time. He just missed the season for you know injury. And then the fourth round pick turned into guard Montre Holloway, who played from 2003 to 2006. Did not amount to much. So went to Denver for agency in 2008, and then he got traded to, to Dallas in uh, 2008. Or he signed with Denver in 2007 and then went to Dallas in 2008 via trade. So back to Bolden. When he was traded along with a fifth round pick uh, to Baltimore for a third and a fourth, the fifth turned into Arthur Jones, who played from, for the Baltimore Ravens from 2010 to 2013. He was all right, didn't do much. Or he, you know, he played, got eight and a half sacks. That was, so that's all right. Uh, he won the Super Bowl with them in 2012. He went to Indianapolis in free agency in 2014. Missed the 2015 season on IR. Played for the Colts in 2016. Went to Washington in 2017. Andre Roberts would be the third round pick uh, involved in this trade. He played for the Cardinals from 2010 to 2013. He's still playing now, actually. Um, you know, because he's uh, over at Buffalo. He signed with... Washington, free agency in 2014, cut in 2016, signed with Detroit that year, then went to Atlanta in 2017, then went to the Jets in 2018, and then Buffalo in 2019, and re-signed with them this year. He has a Pro Bowl selection with the Jets and one with the Bills, and he was first-team All-Pro uh, in 2019 with the Jets, uh, obviously, I would say, on special teams. Uh, so he's more a special teams guy, but he also caught 11 touchdowns in the passing game uh, during his Cardinals tenure, so that's pretty good. Uh, Al Woods would be the fourth round pick, but did not keep him. Never played for New Orleans. He played in 2010 with Tampa Bay uh, for nine games. He was waived, got picked up by Seattle in uh, 2011, got cut. Pittsburgh picked him up, played there for two years. Then he went to Tennessee in 2014, re-signed in 2016, got cut 2017, signed with the Colts. And then signed with Seattle in 2019. And then he signed with the Jaguars this year, but he's on IR, injured reserve. He was the fourth round pick that was involved in the trade. He was sent to New Orleans for a 2010 fourth and 2010 sixth. The fourth turned into O'Brien Schofield, linebacker who only played three years with the Cardinals, didn't do a ton. Um, yacht waved, then, you know, got picked up by Seattle, won a Super Bowl with them in 2013. Lost in the Super Bowl with them against the Patriots the following year, and then went to Atlanta in 2015, and then again in 2016 before getting cut. The 2010 sixth rounder became Jorick Colvin, or Calvin, who played on special teams for the Eagles in 2010, um, and he was then traded, well, because New Orleans, the little, sorry, no, my apologies, that was with the pick that New Orleans gave to the Cardinals in um, the sixth round pick. In that trade, I, I know I keep getting this all mixed up. Again, my apologies. Um, he the, the Cardinals would trade him to Philadelphia for running back Charles Scott. Um, and Philly would cut him in 2011. And Charles Scott did not play whatsoever. Now we get to Theo Riddick. And his part of the tree, it, it's, he got, <laughs> the pick that was used to get him was traded a few times. So, um, he was the pick that was traded to the Ravens from the Niners for Anquan Bolden when his time in Baltimore was up. 
Baltimore would trade the pick along with a second rounder in 2013 to Seattle. Um, or excuse me. No, they trade it with his yeah, with a second rounder and a fifth rounder for a second rounder from Seattle. My apologies again. Um Seattle would trade this that pick and the fifth rounder that they acquired to Detroit for a fifth. Um Riddick would go on to sign with Denver after being cut by Detroit in 2019. Did not play at all because he was on injured reserve. And he signed with the Raiders this year, having spent most of the season on the practice squad playing one game. In his t uh, Lions tenure, he had five TDs, over, just over 1,000 rushing yards, uh, 288 rushing attempts. But again, this is from 2013 to 2018. So, yeah. Uh, but he did have more yards in the passing game, uh, 285 receptions on 369 tackle or targets, my apologies, uh, for just over 2,200 2, yards and 14 touchdowns. Moving along, um, Seattle used the 2013 second rounder at 62nd overall on running back Christine Michael, and let me just say, this guy pinged around the league a lot in 2016, <laughs> holy shit, or between 2015 and 2016, my apologies, went from Seattle, you know, he started as in with Seattle 2015, got traded to Dallas early in the year for a seventh round pick in 2016, and we'll get to who that was later. Dallas waived him in November, caught him. Washington signed him to their practice squad, caught him in December. He goes back to Seattle in 2016, gets waived by them in November. Green Bay picked him up, re-signed him the following March before cutting him in May of 2017. He goes to the Colts a month later, then, re then they re-signed him in 2018 before cutting him in September. The fifth rounder would be punter Sam Martin, who's played who played every year with Detroit up until this year, where he signed with Denver in 2020 free agency. Um, so you know he's been a serviceable 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 punter, blah, 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 obviously. Um, he's had a blocked punt, but you know he's also uh had you know ran the ball twice for three yards. He's passed the ball twice. Both were uh, completions for 27 yards, two fumbles, one fumble recovery, five combined tackles. All right. Anyway, Arthur Brown would be the, the second round pick that uh, Seattle gave to the Ravens in this trade. And Brown, he only played for the Ravens from 2013 to 2015, never started a game. He got waived in 2016, went to Jacksonville, and then later went to the Jets, and then went to Seattle later. Um, and anyway. Now, after that, you know, again, Riddick and Martin were traded to Detroit. The pick that Seattle got back in that deal uh, would turn into Jesse Williams. He was on IR in August of 2013. He he never played in the league. He, he was on the team for a couple years, but really was between IR, waivers, and all that. The seventh round pick that Dallas got um for from or gave to Seattle for Christine Michael. Seattle would trade that pick along with a 2017 fourth to New England for 2016 fifth and 2016 seventh. Uh, that player would be turned into wide receiver Devin Lucian. He was with New England until uh, September of 2017 when he was waived, and then he got he just got pinged around on practice squads. He went from the Colts to the Chiefs to the Texans to the Buccaneers that you know that season when it came to the practice squads. Buccaneers signed into a reserve future contract on New Year's Day 2018. He then got cut in May, signed with New England in July, waived on August 31st, and cut on September 2nd. But anyway, the fourth round pick that New England got in the trade turned into Dietrich Wise Jr., who's still with the team, and he's been with them from 2017 to this year, still playing with them right now. 57 game, 16 start thus far. One pass defended, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, one touchdown out of that. 13 sacks, 115 combined tackles, five playoff games, two starts. He has two tackles in those five games. And he obviously won the Super Bowl with them in 2018, losing in Super Bowl 2017. No, like I said, still with the team. Then you get Seattle, who used the fifth rounder on Quentin Jefferson, a defensive tackle, uh, who played with them for a few years. 
Um, he got then the pick that they used to get him. New England had gotten in a previous trade from Miami. Um, he was waived in 2016. Then the Rams got him the following year. Uh, went to the Rams practice squad. Seattle would then pick him up off their practice squad on October 2nd, 2017. <laughs> Excuse me, my birthday. They re-signed him in 2018, and then Buffalo, uh, or then re-signed him again in 2019, and then Buffalo picked him up this year. And then finally, the last player in this trade tree, wide receiver Kenny Lawler, or my apologies, no, we got to go back to the original part of the tree. We'll get to that. Uh, Kenny Lawler, the pick that was used to get him, funny enough, New England had gotten from Houston two years earlier in a trade for Ryan Mallett. Um, but anyway, Seattle used the seventh rounder on Kenny Lawler. He was on the practice squad, got a reserve future contract in 2017, and then got cut. Then he got back on the practice squad, then got cut again. So with that all out of the way, now we go back to the original trade to the 2001st and 3rd round picks. The first rounder ended up being second overall. And the Redskins used it on linebacker LeVar Arrington, who played with them from 2000 to 2005. 79 games, 67 starts, 3 interceptions, 1 touchdown, 35 passes defended, 6 forced fumbles, 7 fumble recoveries, 1 touchdown, 22 and a half sacks, 401 combined tackles, and 2 playoff games. He was a 3-time Pro Bowler, and he went to the Giants in free agency in 2006. If he had stayed with them for another year, he would have been on that Super Bowl winning team. Ugh. But, whatever. And then the third rounder was used on cornerback Lloyd Harrison who only played one year in Washington, and then he went to San Diego in 2001, and then Miami in 2002. So, that's the end of the trade tree. Long as hell, and this video was long as hell. Holy shit, th this video is longer than the Eric Lindros video! Granted, this would be a shorter video if I had, you know, editing software and shit, but I don't. I don't have an editor, I don't have any of that, so yeah. But hey, longest video on my channel thus far. But looking at this trade tree, looking how at how long it was, the fact that we've got names, obviously Ricky Williams was the original player, you know, involved in the tree. He was the player that Mike Dicko wanted so bad, and he gave up so many assets for. But to see all these assets on Washington's side of things, to later, you know, to turn into Champ Bailey, you got an older um Dre Bly in there, Clinton Portis, Marty Booker, Roosevelt Colvin. Jamal Charles, you have the Jared Allen, Jared Allen, excuse me, trade involved in this all, whole thing. Godson Chirillis is in there. Kendall Langford, uh, Brandon Albert, John Sullivan. And then, of course, on the Saints side of things, when they traded Ricky Williams later on, you get the, they end up getting two first-rounders for him, and one of them they don't even keep, and that first-rounder turned into Calvin Pace. And then a second rounder they gave up in the same trade to the Cardinals turned into Anquan Bolden. While they moved up to get fucking Jonathan Sullivan. He was a bust. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. And then, again, you throw in Andre Roberts, who's still playing now. Uh, got, you know, you have Sam Martin in there. Dietrich Wise, Jr. Honestly, when you look at this trade trade, who really won? I mean, yeah, you know, you, you got players that were on teams that would go to Super Bowls, you know, at times, especially with the Bears, Patriots, Seahawks, um, you know, but realistically, I think the Redskins won. They got Champ Bailey, but of course, you know, he ended up going out of the Broncos, and, you know, so really the Broncos won that part of the trade, but, you know, the Redskins, they got so many assets. I mean, and we would see this happen again later on when the Rams, or, well, sort of, when they were on the flip side of it, when they gave up an entire haul of picks to the Rams to get RG3. <laughs> and we all know how that turned out. But anyway, with all that being said... Oh, hold on. One other thing. Um, on... Sorry. On Arthur Brown's page, there's a guy named... Algernon Brown, who was like a fullback or whatever, apparently um, transactions involving him are on, on, are on Arthur Brown's page. I don't know why. 
Uh, just want to throw that out there as well. That was another goof I found. But with that all being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you made it to the end of the video. I really did do, as this video just eclipsed 40 minutes. Holy crap! And again, with all that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. I know this video would be shorter if I had the editing stuff, but I don't, so that's how it is. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, I'll say it again. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Who knows how long the next tree tree will be. We shall see.